The Schools Division of the City of Mati presents the 2019 Basic Education Research Fund grantees in their participation to the 2020 Virtual Regional Research Congress last December 14 to 18, 2020. Hey ladies and gentlemen, I am Crystal Godoy Entrino from the Schools Division of the City of Mati. I have the honor to present to you my completed action research entitled Let's Talk, Teachers Activate Your Learners to Kakak, an action research on enhancing the art of speaking. For the information of everyone, Kakak is a gay jargon which means to speak fluently. Speaking as one of the macro skills in English is the delivery of the language through mouth. It is the second skill that speakers wanted to master through conversing and expressing one's thoughts and feelings. However, given that fact, grade 12 students were not confident in using the English language during oral presentations such as reporting and research oral defense. They would sometimes request to speak in the vernacular or worse, they would not talk at all. Addressing this problem is important because this skill is used all throughout their educational and professional journeys. This would help in enhancing and strengthening their speaking ability and boost their self-esteem. The strategies were carried out in my English classes. These were the use of social media in class where FB Live was utilized by the students during oral presentations and their family, friends, and classmates can comment or react. Write first, speak later is where I gave ample time to students to write what they want to say before the presentation. Third is the do not interrupt where I gave chance to students to speak freely and I took down notes of their errors, especially in pronunciation, and I corrected these errors after the presentation. And the last one is the time factor where I gave time to students to think clearly about their answers and I refrained from finishing the sentence or sentences or call for another student to answer. Three research questions were specifically addressed in this study. One is, what is the difference between the speaking ability of students uh, per section during pre-test and post-test? Number two is, is there a significant difference with the speaking ability between the control and the experimental groups? And the third one is, what are the experiences, feelings, and views of students with the application of the strategies? Participants of the study were the 80 students of grade 12 level. 40 from the control group and 40 from the experimental group. I employed embedded sequential mixed method design by Cresswell and Clark. Quantitatively, this assumed the use of quasi-experimental, which uh, specifically pre-test and post-test design, to control and experimental groups. A survey questionnaire was distributed to the participants from the adapted and modified global self-assessment schedule for speaking ability developed by Clark and Swinton in 1979. On the qualitative note, I randomly selected eight participants from the experimental group. Table 1 shows the difference between pre-test and post-test results of the experimental group. Using the t-test paired sample at alpha 0.05, there is a significant difference with the speaking ability level of the respondents from the said group. Table 2 shows the difference between pre-test and post-test results of the control group. Using the t-test paired sample, there is a significant difference with the speaking ability level of the control group. Table 3 shows the results of the significant difference between the pre-test and post-test results of both groups. It can be observed that there is a significant difference in the speaking ability level of students using different strategies. To conclude, the strategies applied to the experimental group help in improving their speaking ability. The respondents cooperated and tried their best to meet the objectives of each strategy. In addition, the respondents from the experimental group were motivated to use the language in learning contexts. Qualitative results to emergent themes such as the feeling of confidence and the view of it as advantages when they were given time to write before speaking. 
the feeling of nervousness and being pressured when FB Live was utilized. Moreover, correcting errors after the presentation was viewed as beneficial by participants. However, giving time to students to think of their answers were viewed as disadvantage because they forgot the terms. There are still many activities that can be done to help improve the speaking ability of students, such as expose students to public speaking activities, conduct daily oral presentations, introduce new words and meanings to be added in their vocabulary bank, implement English-only policy in classes, and of course, teachers should be role models in using the language. That ends my presentation. Thank you very much for listening. He who speaks too much, work too little. Grade 7 students emphasized work as the best and correct verb on the sentence. I am bothered and alarmed as they further defended themselves by saying that it should be work because of he. They were thinking all the while that he should take work since he is singular and therefore the verb should not have is. This is the very reason why I conducted this action research entitled, Why Can't We Agree? The Love Story of Subject and Verb. Good day everyone! I am Danielin C. Ramon from Mati National Comprehensive High School of the Schools Division of the City of Mati. This is entitled, Why Can't We Agree? Because this research talks about the agreement between subject and verb. Love story, since subject and verb are engaged in a love affair. But just like any love story, they have disagreements which must be solved. Strategic intervention material is used since this is an instructional material which can aid teachers in improving a least mastered concept or competency. Hence, this action research sought answers to the following questions. First, does the love story of subject and verb increase students' mastery on the basic rules of subject-verb agreement? Second, is there a significant difference between the control and experimental group on the mastery of the basic rules of subject-verb agreement? Third and last, what are the experiences of students on the use of the love story of subject and verb? For my methods, Two grade 7 sections which have the same characteristics were chosen as the respondents of my study. One group is identified as the control group and the other group is the experimental group. From the experimental group, 10 students were selected for the interview and this study employed quantitative design which was triangulated using interview to uncover the experiences of the students on the use of the love story of subject and verb. This time, let us talk about the results of my research which are of course anchored on my three research questions. Now let us answer the first research question. Does the love story of subject and verb increase the student's mastery of the basic rules of subject-verb agreement? Based on the result exemplified on the table, the mean of post-test is higher than the mean of pre-test by 8.94. Thus, there is strong evidence that the love story of subject and verb increased students' mastery on the basic rules of subject-verb agreement because the p-value is 0, 0.00, which is less than 0, 0.05. Now let us proceed to the second research question. Is there a significant difference between the control and experimental group on the mastery of the basic rules of subject-verb agreement? By using one-way and COVA, I found out that there is significant difference on the post-test scores of the two groups in favor of the experimental group since the p-value of the group row is less than 0.05. This time, let us have the third and last research question. What are the experiences of students on the use of the love story of subject and verb? After interviewing 10 students from the experimental group, two themes were generated using thematic analysis. Students said that the love story of subject and verb is enjoyable and insightful. No doubt that the students in the experimental group performed better than the students in the control group because they were enjoying and learning from the material. Lastly, I would like to recommend that when our students have least learned competency, we may use a strategic intervention material. And bear in mind that it must be crafted carefully, making it enjoyable 
and insightful. Most importantly, it should focus and give emphasis on what students should really master. Remember that it is our responsibility to help our learners become competent so they can meaningfully contribute to building the nation. Therefore, let us give our dear learners a love story of learning that will motivate and inspire them. Again, this is Danielin C. Ramon saying, let us spread love all over the world. from Lebanon National High School, and I am delighted to introduce to you our research entitled Grow, Get Ready on Work, Co-Recording System, an Intervention to Enhance Fun Quality of Teachers. Our study, enclosed in the debit order number 18, series of 1991, that encouraged fun quality and honesty in schools, and it was we are time conscious and honest. Watch program implementation that targeted on the quality of the schools in the country. In this study, color coding system will lead in increasing the awareness of teachers in coming before or being on time and uncover teachers' procrastination. Our first objective is to recognize how does grow color coded system affect the punctuality of the teachers? Second is to identify how does punctuality improve time management of teachers. For our methods, we selected five males and 25 females as participants. For our procedures, we have conducted the map or making achievement possible actions via meeting, SMART, the specific measurable, attainable, relevant time-bounded discussions, did our to-do list or action priority matrix, undergone rewarding as part of the motivation method, list individual time scheme written at the color coding task table, also with the use of questionnaire. Now for the results, we started our implementation at the month of March 2019 and ended up at September. To answer the first objective based on the data we gathered, themes were generated according to their responses, which was categorized as motivation, general practices, and predetermined tasks. In the motivation category, many of the subject participants in the meeting publicize their motivation in coming to school early. First, top three reasons. Effective school working force, love and job, fixed salary. While early sleep every night, immediate morning routines, arranging important items the night before, lessons preparations ahead, avoid mislaid lessons, generated the general practices category. Having work plans, to-do lists, tasks with deadlines, focusing on the results, not on the amount generated, belong in the predetermined task. Furthermore, answering the second objective results in generating themes such as goal visualization and realistic businesses. Improvements with the use of color coding fall to have a goal visualization that utilizes techniques in morning routines, counteract the workaholic affinities, schedule time to learn, generate time progress, weighing your conditions at minimum rate, determine early arrivals, together with the realistic businesses, which uncover teachers' procrastination, 
keep works on the right track, giving more follow-ups and reviews, and develop new skills. The totality of our study really enhanced teachers' performance throughout the day. Hello everyone, my name is Orlan Kugan. I am here to present to you my research entitled Educational Interactive Video and Intervention for Computer Video Game Addiction at Math Schools of Arts and Trades. Before, when I am having a class, I found out at the back of my students, some of my students are playing Mobile Legends. Then, I found out in my mind that this is a problem that needs to be addressed. Thus, I am here to present to you my research with two objectives. Number one is to determine the percentage of symptomatic video game addict students in IMSA. And number two is to determine whether video game addict students are feeling better using interactive videos in class. I hope you will learn something in my presentation. is to determine the percentage of symptomatic video game addict in EMSA. And here's the result. Last August 28, 2019, I made a survey to all EMSA no? with the 95% levels of confidence. And of course, with the help of Young's questionnaire, I found out that in every 10 students in EMSA, there are 3 of them who has symptomatic addiction in some form of games it means that out of 100% in the totality of population there are 30% who has symptomatic addiction that is for the objective number one for the objective number two determine whether video game addict students felt better using interactive video games I found out that last August 28, 2019, when I, when I made an interview, I found out that students felt better when the teacher uses interactive videos and presentations. They felt better, they, they are more focused on the discussion when the teacher uses multimedia presentation like TV, projector, movie clips in their classes thus this is helpful for the students okay class this is a sample of the conceptual framework did you understand our lesson oh yes Orlan what can you say yes sir I understand our class since you are using the PowerPoint presentation and it is very very interesting and I feel motivated and there are no distractions sir because I am always looking at your presentation and thank you for your presentation sir for your class I learned a lot thank you here are the list of recommendations Based on the data, the 30% of the student's population in EMSA has symptomatic addiction in playing video games. This suggests further study on how to reduce the percentage for symptomatic addiction. Number 2. Follow-up study on the use of multimedia presentation with the use of quantitative approach through quasi-experimental design with control variable is recommended. Number 3. In-service training, numerical data outputs of teachers with the use of multimedia presentation for feedbacking is necessary. Number 4. 
to enhance or use a student's symptomatic behavioral addiction of video games towards strategic learning for teaching as a strategy. Number 5. Develop class managerial routine for the use of cell phones inside the class. Many of our students in Unotan Daganyo Tagubolo Elementary School have not practiced discipline on throwing of waste as well as proper waste segregation. If these students will not be educated on this aspect, what will happen to the school? What will happen to the core values of Department of Education? The makakalikasan. As a good servant of Department of Education, I desire to address such problem that led me to the action research Basura Mo Ishoot Mo, a solid waste management intervention program. The very core of this action research is to educate learners on the practices of waste management principles like segregation at source, reduction, recycling, reuse, and composting in order to promote environmental awareness and action among the community. Hence, my intervention is the Basura Mo Ishoot Mo, a solid waste management intervention program, which is a metaphor of basketball game which students love most. The program contains three salient actions. First, the conduct of symposium. Second, the organization of school waste action club. Third, the construction of material recovery facility. This action research sought to answer the following questions. First, what is the level of students' awareness in the solid waste management of Unotan Daganyo Tagubolo Elementary School? Second, what is the students' level of practices on solid waste management in terms of segregation, reduce, reuse, recycle, and disposal before and after the conduct of intervention program? Third, is there a significant difference between the level of students' awareness on the solid waste management before and after the intervention the participants of this action research study were the grade 4 and grade 6 students when it comes to statistical analysis mean was used to answer research questions 1 and 2 and the paired sample t-test was used to answer the third research question when the data had been completed they were tallied and organized then they underwent statistical analysis with the respect to the research question the table 1 shows that the level of students' awareness on solid waste management has improved from very poor to very high. The table 2 shows that the level of students' practices on solid waste management has improved from being poor to very good specifically. In terms of segregation, reduce, reuse, recycle, and disposal all have been improved from poor to very high. But are these improvements significant? Well, let's answer the third research question. Based on the table 3, the p-value of 0.00 is less than 0.05 which indicates that there is significant difference between the awareness of students before and after the symposium. On the other hand, the table 4 shows that the p-value of 0.00 is less than the level of significance 0.05 which indicates that there is significant difference between the solid waste management practices of students before and after the symposium. Therefore, we can say that Basura Mo Ishoot Mo, a solid waste management intervention program, has significantly improved the awareness and practices of solid waste management of Anotan Daganyo Tagubolo Elementary School students. Our school is now confident that the cleanliness will be achieved every day. And of course, we are constantly producing learners who are makakalikasan. I believe that if we educate our learners in the most meaningful, engaging way, learners become effective and efficient. 
This action research must not ask that we just need to educate our murderers because they too can have a great contribution to our lives. As Proverbs 22 states, says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from Have a wonderful day. Ingatan natin at huwag nang sirain pa Pagkat pagkanyang linawi tayo'y mawawala na Mayroon lang ako hinihiling Sa aking pagpanong sana ay kahunan To the jury and panel of this event, Ladies and gentlemen, good day. I am Norsalang Bascuña, a senior high school teacher of Don Enrique Lopez National High School, Schools Division of the City of Mati. My study is entitled, Pet Design Trash Saver, an innovative classroom-based recycling and segregating management. From global to local setting, improper disposal, segregation, and recycling among students are no longer new. In fact, in our school, despite the orientation on the implementation of Dep and Order Number no. 5 series of 2014, students continuously and unconsciously disposed waste improperly. As motivated by the theory of conditioning, I instigated Pet Design Trash Saver which covers the four ways of disposal, namely biodegradable, non-biodegradable, recyclable, and hazardous. It was installed with an alarm system in order for the students to consciously identify that the trashes are not properly disposed on the appropriate trash bin. The main objective of my study is to find out the usefulness of PDTS in conditioning students to attain accuracy in segregating and recycling classroom waste. Hence, they sought to answer the following questions. What is the level of accuracy among students when PDTS was introduced? Is there a significant difference when PDTS was introduced before and after? How will PDTS condition students' behavior to dispose, segregate, and recycle classroom waste accurately? And what are the experiences of the students having PDTS as a tool for segregating and recycling classroom waste? In the research methods, I used both quantitative and qualitative research design, employing descriptive and in-depth interview. Quantitatively, a purposive sampling technique was used administering research main questionnaire with the following parameters, behavior, usefulness, and awareness. On the other side, a thematic analysis was used employing participatory action research method in order to find out the experiences and the emotional patterns of the students. The participants of my study are the grade 11 students who were enrolled in our school for the school year 2019 to 2020. A total of 44 participants comprising of 23 male and 21 females respectively. The result of this research revealed that the overall level of accuracy in terms of behavior, usefulness, and awareness got a total mean scores of 4.56 and are all described as very high. It also showed that there is a significant difference between the pre-test and post-test with a p-value less than 0.05. Considering their experiences, commonly, the participants answered that in terms of behavior compared before and after PDTS was used, it changed them a lot in segregating, disposing, and recycling waste. Also, the usefulness in utilizing pet design trash saver was generally evident 
and found out to be very practical and effective and that it contributed great awareness in segregating disposal and recycling waste. This research is highly recommended generally in school, especially in crafting school guidelines and policies in attaining and strengthening the implementation of Deped Order No. 5 series of 2014, particularly on the solid waste management. That ends my presentation and thank you for listening. life. It is one of the most essential elements that supports life. Without it, human can survive. And I am Maria P. Boligor and Eva P. Pareja for Project Water. Water always tangible and equipped in the room. A strategy towards putting up a water system. In which supply of water in Macambo Elementary School poses a big problem among teachers and especially the students. We do not have a water system. Students needed to fetch water from the nearby houses to be used for the school-based feeding program, sanitations of restrooms for watering the plants, and for personal needs. In doing this, our school children will have to cross the street, which is very dangerous for them. The problem also causes disruption of classes. Teachers cannot start right away the lesson that the first subject of the day will be utilized in fetching water. Students lost their interest to learn because they were already tired with the seemingly daily duty of fetching water. This problem has affected lots of school processes. The school wanted to put up a water system in order to suffice the water demands but the school lacks budget to address the necessary materials for the water system. Our objectives is what are the feedback of stakeholders about the implementation of Project Water? What are the experiences of the stakeholders in the implementation of Project Water? What are the effects of the provision of water system to the teachers and students? Methodology. This research study was conducted in Makambol Elementary School, Mati South District, Schools Division of the City of Mati. There were 10 participants which were randomly selected using draw lots. Three of them are teachers, four are parents, and three are students. In the gathering of data, we the researchers solely used in-depth interview with the use of interview guide. The responses of the participants were recorded using a phone. Action research has three questions, which are qualitative in nature. The data collected to address the research questions were analyzed using thematic analysis. Results. After the data has been gathered and analyzed, the following results and findings occurred. Table 1 shows the theme for the first question. What are the feedback of stakeholders involved in the project water? Based on the table one, the parents who were involved in the actual implementation of the project water have different feedback. Specifically, the actual implementation was found to be organized, collaborative, good, communicative, and engaging. When the participants were asked, to share their experiences in the implementation of Project Water, three major themes have emerged as shown in Table 2. From the Table 2, it can be said that the stakeholders who participated in the implementation of the Project Water have experienced comfortableness, accomplishing tasks, and collaboration. With the feedback and experiences, they have in the implementation of the project, the participants were asked to describe their experiences. Table 3 reveals two things. These were enjoyable and fulfilling. After two weeks of using the water system, the teachers and students were interviewed to know the effects of the water system to them as the end user. Table 4 shows the four emergent themes after asking them about the effects of the water system to their daily experiences in the school. 
These are the safety and security, time management, convenience in doing tasks, and access to other facilities. Recommendation. Based from the results of this action research, the researchers recommend that in the implementation of a school project, it is necessary to follow a certain procedure to uphold proper and organized implementation that would promote strong engagement of the participants in the project or activity as well as effective and efficient collaboration and communication. In this way, the project can be easily and successfully implemented. I'm Jessica M. Lumapas, School Principal 1, the developer of Automated Liquidation Reports System. Creating the Automated Liquidation Reports System, or ALRS, was based in the context of Don Enrique Lopez National High School. It was particularly from the observation to the actual school performance related to submission of liquidation reports. As noted, the designated liquidation reports in charge was experiencing a hard time in the preparation of liquidation reports supporting documents. This caused some sleepless nights and put other official tasks on hold. ALRS was created through the EXO programming. Four groups of liquidation forms were applied with appropriate formula. The finding of the study showed that ALRS is convenient and efficient. It makes the report easier and convenient. The orientation on how to use it was conducted in the school and district levels. It was introduced to other schools in the division as well. The ALRS contributes to the quality management of school resources, resulting to the delivery of quality education and leading to a responsible and accountable practice of good governance. Initiating solid waste management through automated vet design trash saver was influenced by the mentorship of our school head Jessica M. Lumapa. Also, three completed interventions through continuous improvement projects were initiated to address students' needs, promoting ICT, numeracy, and literacy skills. The automation influenced me in fast tracking student things and records. The applicability of the research is sustained up until these days, and there are actually some schools that are using ALRS, like Tagbinunga Elementary School and Libudon National High School. This is very, very useful to us, especially for the school. I recommend this and I, I am just looking forward to this one. This. Also, some other school heads have other issues. It's really very uh, efficient and effective for us as an administrator of elementary since we don't have others. Oh, 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 oh,